My name is Greg German, and I'm a musician in New York. I got home in, from Wicked in the end of 2014, and Clarence Penn, who was my teacher at the time, said, hey, I think you should do a record, and I want to produce it for you. And I was like, yeah, let's do that. But then career came in the way, and so I kind of went by the wayside. When I was out in Charlie and Chocolate Factory, I started writing more music. I reached out to him and said, do you still want to do this record? And he said, absolutely. So the name of the record is going to be Tales of Time, because I feel like each song is a story within itself. A lot of the songs are in different time signatures. Musically, I feel like the record has a little bit of everything. I mean, we have everything from like fugues, kind of like a funk ton of tune, a waltz. You know, I just put a little spin on it, and it's all my compositions and all my music. So if you like my writing, you'll, you'll like the record. <laughs> This is my dream band. This is pretty much my dream band. I mean, Donnie McCaslin on saxophone, Luis Pernambu on piano, Yasushi Nakamura on bass. So that was what's great about making the most of a pandemic, right? I mean, you get your dream band because they're actually available. I mean, Donnie being able to do it was like, so great. What's cool is that you can hear that they still sound like themselves, but they also interacted enough with me that I feel like I can shine on the record as well. That's why they are who they are. Two, one, two, one. Rush Hour is kind of divided in two parts. So the first part is you're in traffic and you're kind of stuck and the more you sit there, you watch the clock, the more anxious you get, you know, all, all that kind of stuff. And then the second part of it is like this arrival and you just feel like, whew, we made it. You know, rush hour is kind of like, you know, those long travel days where you're on tour and you finally get to like your hotel and you're just like, oh, I can lay down the bed for like a little bit. I think, I think, I hope that it's something that people will enjoy on multiple listenings. You know, I hope each song inspires some sort of vibe or feeling and makes someone go, oh, I, I want to listen to this again.